This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and today we're going to look at the first developer preview of Android N. That's the next generation operating system that's coming and after Marshmallow. That's why it's the letter N. We don't know the name yet. Nutella? Nugget? No, no, don't know. Anyway, the funny thing is that Marshmallow hasn't been out since, what, October now? And the adoption rate is around under 5%. So we're already looking at N. This is going to be interesting, isn't it? Anyway, maybe if Google started calling this like Marshmallow 6.2, more manufacturers would jump on board and say, okay, and put, put that on the phone. But anyway, that set aside, we're going to see the new features now. All right, so here we are with the Nexus 6P made by Huawei, and this is running the first developer preview of Android N, which will be the next generation operating system. And yeah, as you might expect, this is not looking so different from previous versions. Google very rarely does anything drastic when they change the user interface. And that's at Marshmallow with, with its new user interface was really the material design is a beautiful thing. And, and this is more of fine tuning and just a couple of important added features. Now, first off, Notice how the notification things is a two stage with animations. You have your first level right there for quick access to some settings like your Wi-Fi and all that sort of thing, the flashlight function. And you can either top the down, tap the down carrot or you can drag it further and voila, they all appear. And it's a multi-screen one at that. And you can edit and choose which of these is here. And you can see here's the beta program. This is the, the number of this beta build right here. So that's nice, new, easy to see. Now, if you want to take a look at all settings, that's changed as well. Uh, notice how they're showing you more information. There's no lines dividing anything. It's kind of free floating and clean looking. Uh, so you've got basic information without necessarily having to dive in deeper. So you can check any of these things that you want if you want to get in here. So say we want to look at display settings. And if you want to just jump back a level, tap over there and you've got a quick pick of all the different categories. So we want to see our app status, for example. You can, you can do that. It might take in a minute, but you can do that. The next biggie is multitasking split screen multitasking, something that Samsung has been doing on their Galaxy products, both phones and tablets for some time, but Android hasn't. And we've all been picking on Google, particularly with their tablets that come out in the Nexus range. And, and you know, they're just they're not so useful when you can do that split screen. Heck, even Apple is starting to introduce split screen now, right? So, wow. Well, you got it now. And there's our usual look right there. Now settings is kind of hung. This is a preview. So we, we can go through all these different things right here. So say I want to pick that. And then if I press and hold, I can drag this and I can move this over here and I can have a split screen. And for things that you're typing, you can actually drag text between one window to the other. You can't highlight text that's on a web page or something like that. It's just something that you might be typing. If you want to copy it somewhere else, you can. So that is a nice feature. Now, notice how that turns into sort of a multitasking look right there, that button. It's not just your usual square anymore. So I hit the home key. That persists. So if I want to go into that pair of programs again, I can. And if I just want to go full screen on this, boop, there it is. Like so. Now, if I want to double tap, I can switch between two applications. So there's my Instagram double tap. So that's really handy because often I find myself switching between a password manager and a website or an email and maps, something like that. So we've got that now. Nice. Now things like the app drawer right now are pretty much the same. The scrolling up Z's, down Z's, the white background here, that hasn't changed, but night mode is back in settings. So at night, instead of looking at white with black text, you can basically see a nice dark gray with a sort of whitish text on top. So that's a little bit easier on the eyes for nighttime. nighttime. So, so far, as you can see, the big thing here is going to be the multitasking edition. This here is really nice. And I remember when, when Nexus phones and plain old Android had just about nothing here. And it actually made TouchWiz on Samsung phones seem good because you had quick access to so many settings. So that's a very nice addition. And the animations are are very, shall we say, mature and fluid. And for something that is a first release, I'm pretty impressed right here. So as Google changes more things, adds more things, we will revisit it again and show you what else might change before Android N, the currently nameless new operating system from Google for smartphones and tablets, comes out.
So that's the first developer preview of Android N. If you want to sign up, it's actually not too hard. You can check it out on Google's website to do it for yourself. You actually don't have to be a registered developer or anything like that. That said, they do warn you that it could be unstable. It could crash your phone, do weird things, have bad battery life, all those usual warnings. It has been very stable, though. So if you want to give it a try and you have a Nexus device, another requirement, a recent Nexus device, give it a try, particularly for Nexus tablets, that split screen multitasking finally you know, that's going to be something you want to check out. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Hit that subscribe button.